Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today I will tell you the difference in between the pigments and the chromes and explain you which one's going into the dry top coat, each one's, uh, which one's going into the inhibition layers. So all this uh, absolutely great information in this video. Let's start. I'm going to talk through the different pigments and the chromes because uh, it is a pretty common asked questions on the channel like when we do the tutorial then you guys keep asking me the difference in between so I might actually show you some of it so this would be a chrome 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 and say that's it okay so that that will be our chromes and then we've got also some uh, pigments which looks like chromes they're very fine but this it isn't a chrome this needs to go into the inhibition layer and then this wouldn't be a chrome even if it looks similar to it and then you've got also stuff which is called like unmermine powders and this isn't a chrome as well so we would have one group of the pigments and that would be a chrome which goes on top of the no wipe top gel so that's a dry top coat no inhibition layer this would be going into the inhibition layer or it can be only used as a sugar or like as a sprinkle say example so that will be our sugar uh, same this one will be a sugar glitter and this will be a sugar glitter and then we've got the uh, mermine pigment so this will be a mermine pigment this would be a mermine pigment and this one will be a mermine pigment so they need the inhibition layer as well and i will demonstrate you like a couple of those different effects um, and tell you how to apply them so they look uh, good okay so let's start maybe with the chromes so first of all we are going to start with the chromes and i will do it uh, ideally over three different colors just to show you the difference so we will be doing on a white black and pink okay so pink white and a black and a high shine no wipe top gel okay so we're starting with the chromes and uh, the chrome over the white so i'm going to use the high shine no wipe top gel i might actually show you on the one tip how the chrome will look uh, on a different type of product so i'm just applying high shine no wipe top gel over the white actually this one has some sparkle in there and then give it a cure we have to cure the top coats for uh, 60 seconds in order to uh, get a nice chromey look and then here we are going to apply the chrome over the pink for a change And I will show you what will happen if I try to apply the chrome uh, into the sticky layer as well, into the inhibition layer. It wouldn't be as nice and chromey. Okay, give it a cure. And then another tip, I will quickly buff it. So imagine this is a white color. And we are going to apply the top coat which has inhibition layer let me find this one so that's a soak of top gel and it has the sticky layer okay so i'm just applying it with the sticky layer and give it a same 60 seconds cure so that's our um high shine no wipe top gel and i can show you that the chrome goes really well over it what chrome we will use what color of the chrome ah uh, let's go maybe for this one for a change so that's a chameleon chrome and because of the color of it i'm going to use the eyeshadow to apply it so you can see it, it is having a nice chromey look, almost like a mirror. Because quite often the chrome powders are called mirror powders. 
so it goes on nice and this doesn't have any sticky layer it's just a dry top coat okay so all the chromes always goes over the dry top coat and you can see it that it is really nice and shiny kind of mirror look but what will happen so this tip is cure and here i've got the top coat with the inhibition layer so this one is sticky you can see my finger is print uh, there and what will happen if i put the chrome over it look it goes matte it goes dual it's not as shiny okay so it doesn't look as nice because there is inhibition layer very matte and dual okay so you can even you can see this difference in between the high shine no wipe top gel and the inhibition layer you definitely want to get the uh, dry top coat rather than the uh, top coat with the inhibition layer i mean for some type like of nails if you want to have those kind of matte look why not um, but if you want to have a really nice and shiny results you wouldn't apply it, it on the top coat with the inhibition layer because it does really uh, goes very matte okay so we have created uh, those two let me put them on the side and move on into the next demonstration just so you know how they works because i get lots of questions about it here i've got a color with the inhibition layer okay so the color has inhibition layer and if i would apply any chromey stuff on top of it i would get the matte results but what else we could do is we could apply some mermine powder and then we get a nice shiny result so i'm going to use the mermine powder and i show you that it doesn't work also on the shiny surface so here i've got the um, high shine no wipe top gel and look what's happened if i take this mermine powder and i try to put it on it doesn't sticks in it stays on my finger doesn't do anything and it needs to go into the inhibition layer of the color okay so you just dab it in and then rub it in and it goes on top of the sticky layer so this pigment wouldn't work, this um, mermine powder wouldn't work on the top coat. It only works on the inhibition layer of the gel polish. And then you nicely massage it in. For all the chromes, of course, we have to scratch the edges and remove the excess of the pigments for the best results. And then apply the top coat so everything stays in nice. So that's just a top coat going over it. Okay, so any kind of mermine powders, and I show you the difference in between those two, um, two things. So mermine powders, they always kind of like very, very fine glitter. See, this example is a sugar glitter, as you can see it. And if I would try to rub this in into the inhibition layer, it wouldn't rub in because it's just a glitter. Like, it's not a mermine effect, uh, so it wouldn't work. Same same this stuff it looks very similar as well but it is only glitter and it wouldn't uh, work as a mermaid effect it would be nice for sugaring uh, but not as a, a pigment which is wrapped into the nails i will also show you one uh, difference in the chromes as well because they are pretty popular and i've got mixed feelings about those chromes as well so let me get fresh tips so this one can go on the side and we do another tip gosh i hope i don't make you even more confused uh, it is confusing but once you know the difference in between the chromes the the pigments the mermaid powders and the sugar glitters um, because there is uh, four different ones then you will know uh, what is best to use it um, to achieve the nice results okay so the next one we are going to uh, use would be a sugar effect 
And for sugar, I really like this glitter as well. So it has all multicolor, um, multi colors going through it. And it's fantastic because uh, actually that's how it looks over the white. So we are going to create this look. Okay, it gives us beautiful effect. And the sugar effects you apply on top of the uh, no inhibition layer top coat. Okay, you don't want the inhibition layer, you want them to be instantly dry. So what you would do is you are just apply the top coat, the dry top coat, and then you sprinkle the entire tip with the sugar effect. I love this one so much. Because it has those blues and oranges hints to it. Remove the excess. Okay, so that's that's the sugar effect and it needs to go on top of uncure top coat. Give it a cure. Then on this one again, I will show you another thing, which is going to be um, like a Mika powder. So this is neither a chrome, neither a sugar, neither a mermaid. <laughs> and that works absolutely different as well. Okay, I've got my tip. Let me put that on the side. Quickly just give a couple of the scratches to it. Perfect. And uh, where I've got this, I've got it here. So I want to show you something, guys. Because this is pretty interesting. Uh, you can see it. It looks almost like a chrome. Really beautiful. And uh, everyone would think like, wow, this is the definitely a chrome. And uh, it is actually... Lucky, stop it. This is only a postman. And you can see it. It looks like chrome. It's even nicer. Uh, so what is the difference in between those two? This one is a pigment and it doesn't work like a chrome. And this one is a chrome. So this one is actually called Glamour Silver from the Indigo. And I show you the difference in those two as well. Like I think this is really worth uh, to show you the difference. So let's apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. So that's a top coat with no inhibition layer. Okay. So top coat, no inhibition layer and give it 60 seconds cure. Give it a cure. Okay, this one is uh, all finished and it has those um, um, no wipe top gel. And now I want to show you something. So this pigment is just a pigment. It's not a chrome. And if I take it, it shouldn't stick in. See, it doesn't go into this new. It doesn't work on top of the high shine no wipe top gel because it has to be used on the inhibition layer okay so i show you how it will look on the inhibition layer and of course this one will work on the high shine so here we will apply the white so you can see it it is going to go over the sticky layer okay and sometimes the sailors sell the um, pigments as a chromes and then you're really disappointed like because they don't give you this mirror look just because they are not chromes they are just a pigments okay so here i need inhibition layer to get this pigment to work so i'm just applying a white Give it a cure and I show you one more time. So this is pigment and it's not going to work on the high shine no wipe top gel. Okay. You can see it, we didn't get a really nice results. And then this one is a glamour pigment and this one will work really nice on top of the high shine no wipe top gel ok 
Okay. Actually, on the color, it looks even uh, even nicer. My show you on this one. So it's changed into a pearly shade. Actually, on the black, it is more visible. So instead of black, it's nice pearly color. On white, it's actually hardly visible now. I can see it. And I show you this one on the inhibition layer. <laughs> okay, so this one goes on into the inhibition layer because it is a pigment. And it will look really beautiful and nice and shiny because the pigments are designed to work on the stick into the inhibition layer. Actually, a really nice effect. That's the pigment from Amy. And then remove the inhibition layer and apply the top coat, uh, the excess of the pigment and apply the top coat. I really hope, guys, I have not made you more confused. And I also show you the black sugar as well, because I think that is pretty uh, nice results as well, nice effect. So I'm just going to quickly cook this one. And the silver glamour. The glamour is amazing because it works on top of any kind of color. So it will change your black into like a chromy black. It will change your pink into nice pearly pink. And uh, so those it will work on blue or any other colors. I will do also a summary of, of all this uh, talk as well. And then this one. That's actually pretty interesting stuff as well. Again, this one wouldn't stick into the nails with the inhibition layer. So I'm just going to show you that. The, sorry, it wouldn't stick into the nail. I'm getting confused myself. <laughs> it's not going to stick in into the high shine no wipe top gel. It needs inhibition layer. So I'm just quickly buffing this tip. So quickly buff it in. And apply the color. So we are going to apply white, white, where are you? So just a quick white application. This is very common um, question. Like sometimes like when I get the new girls join in the salon as well, they're very confused like um, which pigment um, goes like um, is it going to go on top of the inhibition layer or on the high shine no wipe top gel well let's try this one okay so they are uh, from the indigo as well actually I might try to find the name no I wouldn't okay so they are just a holographic glitters and if I will it looks like a chrome but it's not a chrome okay it's not going to stick in into our um, tip with the top coat you can see it. Okay, maybe there are some places where it's a little bit in, but it's, it's really not nice chromy look. Look for that. Yeah, it doesn't give a nice results. And now I show you the same one with the inhibition layer. So I've got it here. So this tip has inhibition layer. I'm taking the pigment and it should go nice holographic. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, so it's sticking into the inhibition layer. I know it might be really confusing uh, to know which product works on the top coat and which products works on the inhibition layer. Uh, but I will also do a very quick summary for you guys. Just show you the black chrome, uh, the black uh, sugar effect as well. Okay, remove the excess of this pigment and you can see it, it does sticks into the inhibition layer. Okay, so I need one more tip, keep this one on the side and we are going to do a sugar and then do a summary. Actually, I need the other one because it is smaller, so it works working better for a pinky nail. Okay. So another tip in there and we are going to do a black sugar and I will do a quick summary for you. So for a black sugar, if you apply the 
color black and sprinkle with any white um, it is not going to give you a nice result actually I might show you I need to show you <laughs> Um, so I've got another tip in here I really need to show you because quite often I swap the colors depending what uh, difference I want to get so buff the tip quickly okay and here I will just apply the black and I show you how it will look if we use a different color for a black sugar so in general if we sprinkle a sugar on top of the color and it's a clear sugar it's kind of shoots gives us uh, um, show the color from underneath but with the black it's actually really changing the color so and i show you that so this one needs to get cured so to achieve a really nice uh, black chrome the best solution um, the black sugar nail the best solution is to use a black uh, glitter black sugar glitter this one is really nice like it's kind of like an almost leather looking uh, so i'm using the high shine high shine no wipe top gel okay so high shine no wipe top gel ideally it's good to have a for a chromes and pigments two top coats and then pick up the sugar Okay, so the tip is white so you could use it on top of the natural nail which is awesome and I'm just sprinkle this nail okay, sprinkle really well remove the excess and then give it a cure the black uh, sugars are always needing um, quite a long cure um, give it a double cure because the black is a pigment which doesn't get the much light through it and quite often if you don't cure it properly then it might come off okay so the black sugar is always the most tricky one I love this one it's so beautiful um, color let me clean this mess and now I show you what will happen if we use it on a different color so if I apply the white uh, glitter on top of the pink it will be still really nice but if I apply it on top of the black it will change the color completely it wouldn't be black that's what I want to say <laughs> okay so we need to quickly do a pink nail no this one wouldn't be good I need to do a pink nail so buff it very quick And actually, it is a really great fun because with one pigment you can do so many different things. Okay, so we've got pink nail. Perfect, give it a cure. And now I will show you the all difference, okay? And let's use the white glitter, white sugar glitter. And do a quick summary as well so the chromes and that's a chrome and this one is a metal manix that's even more complicated because uh, this isn't a silver chrome only so this is a silver chrome and if you apply it on top of the black it goes silver if you apply it on top of the white it goes silver just a lighter shade but it goes silver all the time this one is actually fantastic uh, because it shows the color from underneath so if you apply it blue uh, gel polish and then this pigment on top of it you will have like a bluish uh, chromey nails if you apply purple underneath you will have a purplish nails and same for the uh, hollow ones the hollow will show the color from underneath so that's the hollow pigment it looks silverish uh, but when you apply it in it's it gives a really multicolor rainbow uh, beautiful uh, beautiful effect as well like a holographic one okay but well, let's go back to this one so if I take a sugar and I apply it on top of the pink I will still have the pink visible uh, but the sugar color wouldn't change much okay sorry I just need to quickly apply the top coat <laughs> so take a top coat and high shine Top coat in there. Let's 
So apply the top coat and now let's sprinkle it with the sugar. So the pink is still going to show from underneath. Okay, remove the excess of it. And you can see the pink still showing underneath. Give it a cure. So on any color, it will still show uh, the color from underneath. And now we are going to apply it on top of the black. Actually, I will use a clean one. So there is no pigments. I have touched it. Doesn't matter. We will cover it with the sugar. And now I'm going to use the sugar over black. White sugar. It is not going to go black. It will change the color into the greeny, orangey one, depending on the sugar color you're using. I mean, it's still quite interesting effect. Depends really what you want to achieve, but just to show you that it wouldn't be black. Okay, give it a cure. And then I show you the ones which we have created. It's actually a fun with all those pigments as long as you know uh, how to use them. <clears throat> By the way, oh gosh, I don't want to do a bad demo, but I might actually demonstrate those ones as well because they seem to be very popular at the moment as well. And I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, normally I recommend the things. So say example, I've got those sponge ones. They are they great, like the chromes takes really well uh, on those uh, sponge. And when you clean the excess of the pigment, the pigment doesn't come off the chrome. And same the other chromes, I find these ones are not prone from scratching. And I might actually demonstrate it just so I, I do really confirm what I say. <laughs> so let me cure this and I show you the last thing. It's just to save you a bit of money <laughs> because I'm really, I was kind of disappointed uh, with it. So, and I bought so many different colors because I think they look amazing. High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. Through the entire tip. Gosh, I've got so much mess now on them. And give it a cure. <laughs> <laughs> the tip jump into the lamp. I need to just clean my brush from the black sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. Forget this black sugar. I just make sure I don't put it back into my gel polish. It did touch the tip which was inside the lamp. But I don't want that into my clean top coat. Because then it goes everywhere. So I'm just going to clean it. I'm not the person which... Um, kind of, I don't know, mm, say bad words about different products uh, or the things. Uh, I'd rather to say it like, show you only the products which I like to use and which are good to use. Uh, but this one, I want to demonstrate it as well. Uh, that I'm not 100% happy. I mean, unless it's I use something wrong and that's why it didn't work. But let, let's check it. So you have seen me working with different type of chromes and uh, this chrome is different. So normally when I mix, when I've got the chrome, say example, I even mix different colors like mm, this is a chrome and they come as a loose powder. This is a chrome and normally I use those ones um, and it comes as a loose, uh, loose powder. This one comes in a form of the eyeshadow and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like, and when I tried it, when I picked it up uh, on the, uh, eyeshadow applicator was like this is amazing like unbelievable like so nice and easy to apply solid form no mess flying about and I was really excited about it uh, until I tried it on my client and then I show you what's happened if it happens on this maybe it was just a certain color I have used but we will see let's test it okay so I'm just picking up this beautiful chrome maybe this one isn't the most beautiful one I've got rose gold nice one like this one but let's test it on this one just the first uh, available one okay so the first thing look what is happening guys it's quite difficult to apply it in 
I would say. Very difficult to apply it in. So forget the eyeshadow applicator. Clean my finger and let's do with the finger. And with the finger it should work because I done it before. Okay, so I've got the pigment on my finger. Yes, it works with the finger. Okay. And obviously, if we want the chromes to last, we need to remove the excess of the pigment and scratch the free edge. And then that's when I, when I was really disappointed with this product. So you scratch the free edge, scratch the free edge and use the brush. And this brush is really gentle and like I have been using chromes constantly, even on this set as well. And then what's happened, I have took it and look what is happening. The brush is taking off the chrome. It shouldn't like and I'm really gentle with it like I done it on my client and I could see it like oh my goodness what is happening why this brush is taking off this chrome so if you are if you're trying to buy this product don't buy it <laughs> unless I do something wrong but I have tested a couple of times and uh, looks amazing great idea uh, but definitely I think you're better off sticking with the uh, loose powder rather than those eyeshadow forms especially that I have been seeing there's lots of new uh, beautiful combinations like honestly I wanted to buy it as well where you've got half silver half pink or half silver half blue I have even seen the four colors so you could have four colors in a one uh, single palette so amazing idea absolutely fab but in general I think I would be scared to use this chrome on on top of my client's nails in case it would really uh, come off because it shouldn't happen with the brush so I wouldn't be a really big fan of it like too easy to come off unless you don't clean it and you don't scratch the free edge of it then it is okay to use it uh, but I like it uh, to give it a scratch at the free edge and remove the excess of the pigment so the chrome doesn't chip on the client's nails and the black one so the black sugar is ready as well and what you do when you sugar the nails you just remove the excess of the chrome uh, of the gosh too many names uh, you, you remove the excess of the sugar and you get a really uh, nice surface and I love actually those uh, black one because it looks almost like a leather uh, kind of look with those different sparkles and then if we use it a white one on top of the black let's change the color you can see it guys it takes away all the black shade from underneath uh, and give us completely uh, different color so depending what kind of uh, um, sugar glitter we would use we would get a different shadow yeah i i hope i just didn't make you guys more confused uh, than you were before watching this tutorial but a quick summary chromes like a true pigments they go on top of the top coat with no inhibition layer okay so it has to be a dry top coat like really mirror surface you want to achieve so imagine mirror is smooth it's not sticky it's really shiny okay so dry top coat for a chrome pigments if we're working with the mermind glitters okay they very fine as well so mermind effects mermind pigments um and this one as well so those kind of glitters they go on top of your inhibition layer of the color so you would apply the color wrap this in and then apply the top coat and then we've got the next ones which are the pigments they look very similar to the chrome but they still go into the inhibition layer not into the top coat and then the sugars and the sugar glitters they go over the top coat without of top coat on top of them because if we would apply the top coat over them they would they would lose their sugar effect uh, yeah <laughs> I hope you have guys really enjoy uh, watching those theory uh, tutorial regarding all the pigments and and different usage of them uh, glittery hacks and bye for now